we've been in Ridgeland since 1984, and really the group of people that works there is what it's all about for me. Our crew there comes to work every day and builds these beautiful drums. And this drum really kind of conveys what we're trying to do. And the fact that it's named the original snare drum, it's really a tribute to them. And I believe that's part of the mojo you get with a Gretsch drum. This is a drum I've been wanting to make for many years. I'm talking maybe 15 years. By taking maple, gum, and poplar, it gave me the opening to make an even thicker snare shell than what we normally do. Our normal snare shell is 0 0.30 thick. These are 0 0.40 thick. So it's almost half an inch thick. With that combination, of those plies and a thick shell, I knew we would have a killer sounding snare. The fact that we were doing a hybrid shell also made me want to do an edge that I've wanted to do. And that edge is a combination of the Gretsch classic 30 degree edge with the old school broadcaster style roundover. That gives you the warmth of the roundover edge and you still get the attack from the 30 degree edge. Now taking all those components together, I think we've come out with a really great sounding snare drum and uh, I'm into it. <laughs> 